Well, good day to everyone. In the last two videos, I've made videos about uh, making the pinions and the wheels for the repeater mechanism. In the time since then, I've spent cutting pivots into the arbors of the, the pinions and making sure that those pivots are correct for their bushings as well as drilling the holes in the center of the wheels. Admittedly I could have done this before I cut the gears but this method works as well. And then I mounted the four wheels on four of the five pinions I made. I also made a, an eccentric bushing for the last pinion and I show the process of this in video number 13 of this series and I'll put a link of that in the description. And then once everything was set and ready I installed each gear uh, in the mechanism one at a time so I could observe the, the meshing of the gears and if there were any issues, I could correct them, find them immediately and correct them. There were a couple issues I had to correct along the way, but in the end, I was real satisfied with how it functioned. So as you could see, uh, the gearing portion of the repeater mechanism is functional now. Um, so instead of taking the mechanism apart and uh, doing the finishing touchings, touches on the gearing, I thought I would uh, turn my attention to the dial side mechanism um, and the, the various racks and levers and springs that uh, work the repeater mechanism. Um, I mentioned in my estimate that there is a spacer uh, that's missing from the repeater mechanism and it's the spacer uh, between uh, that is mounted on this square arbor here and uh, takes up some slack between um, that gear at the bottom of that and this pulley here um, and this pulley is the, the portion of the mechanism that the chain is pull, uh, attached to and so when you trip the repeater mechanism you, you're pulling on a chain which then turns this arbor right here the square the square arbor and on the inside of the mechanism um, this square arbor is actually the the mainspring arbor, so the mainspring of the repeater mechanism. So as you pull it, you're actually winding up the mainspring. And then as it as it unwinds, then this spacer does two things. One, obviously just the, the, the aspect of taking up space, but also there has to be a, a notch or a claw uh, filed into it that will grab this pin right here on this rack and pull it back to its resting position and as it does then it trips um, the repeater hammers which these two on the inside of the mechanism are the repeater hammers so and it does that this one needs a little bit of adjustment so um, before I take it apart and, and do the finishing touches on the repeater mechanism, I will, uh, re, uh, the finishing touches on the gearing is what I meant to say, I will make this, um, this part that is missing and I would like to test uh, the repeater mechanism in full function uh, before then I move on to the finishing process. So, I believe that's it for this update. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, you can look forward to seeing some progress in this area of the mechanism on the next video.